Hey guys, this is Molly with Robert Molly Bees. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be going over refinishing this buffet. This buffet is going into a hair salon in Georgia for my client. Uh, we met him halfway home from our vacation in Savannah and picked up this beautiful piece and uh, got it home. So I scrubbed it down with TSP here, removed all the hardware. Um, I am priming it with Zinsser Bullseye 123 Tinted Primer. Um, my client wanted the piece painted black inside and out. Um, and I went ahead and decided to go ahead and paint the underside of it as well because it stands fairly tall and that light wood peeking through was going to bug me. So I had to cover it up. Um, the paint that I used on the inside of the buffet is a Valspar Reserve. One coat interior paint and primer. Uh, it's supposed to be one coat only, but of course it takes three because it's black. And I had that tinted to the caviar color of Dixie Belle's caviar because I knew I was gonna use that on the outside of the piece. And I used the Valspar on the inside because I wanted the inside to be really durable. I knew that this piece was gonna be used for shampoo, storage, and uh, I wanted it to be as water resistant as it can be and really strong. So not that Dixie Belle isn't, it's just it's a little bit difficult to paint and then top coat the inside of pieces. So that's why I went with that. Uh, here I'm putting on Dixie Belle's caviar on the outside of the piece. You can see I've already started attaching some of the wood embellishments. I got those wood embellishments from an Etsy store. If you want to know what it is, uh, message me or comment below and I will tell you the name of the store. The products do come from China, so they take like a month to get here. They are wood, they are not wood you bend. And uh, I did have to do a little bit of sanding and then I primed them off the piece and I did a first coat off the piece to make sure that I could get all of the little nooks and crannies. And then I attached them to the buffet with uh, tight bond, quick and thick, and brad nails. So, and then I did my second and third coat of uh, Dixie Bell's caviar over top of that. And I think it turned out really nice. Here you can see I uh, marked the center of the buffet side with uh, just sidewalk chalk and a ruler so I could make sure I got the, the decorations centered well. And um, I am using an air compressor with a brad nailer just to make sure that everything stays where it should. Um, here I'm working on the front of one of the doors. Um, after I did this, I went ahead and my client had picked out this stencil. I'm using DIY's Vintage Linen. I did stippling with very little paint on my brush and I would let it dry and then I did another coat and then I would pull the stencil off and if there was any bleed through underneath, I would let it dry and then go back with a small artist brush with the black paint and clean up the lines. It really, I didn't have to do too much of that on the top especially, but um, that's a little trick. If you're using stencils, you could just gotta remember, you gotta let it dry and then you can go back and, and fix it. Uh, I was on a TikTok live working with my client and uh, he was watching me and he said, hey, what do you think about putting stencils on the insides of the drawer? And I was like, well, we could do that. That sounds good. So here I am stenciling the inside of the drawer. Uh, I did work very closely with my client on this particular piece. Uh, I haven't worked as closely for painting other pieces for other people. So it was definitely a new kind of experience, but it was really um, great because he come up with some ideas and I would come up with some ideas and, and we, it was a real collaboration. I was really um, pleased with how, how easy it all went and how fun it was because it was really enjoyable. He and I would message back and forth, just kind of freaking out about how cool it was all turning out. So it was really fun. So here you see me, I'm do, using the same paint, uh, vintage linen with DIY uh, clay-based paint and um, doing some stippling. And uh, my brush right there is actually a makeup brush I ordered on Amazon. I find the bristles to be softer and easier to clean. They do not last though. If you're really using them or scrubbing on them, they do fall apart, but you're only paying 10 bucks for like 15 makeup brushes. So it's still worth it because uh, you don't have to worry about it if you 
forget to wash one and one dries out or something. Uh, after that, I did do two coats of gator hide on the outside and then I did a drop coat of polycrylic and this helped me not have any streaking in my finish. Um, I was really concerned about that painting black pieces. If anybody's a furniture artist, they know that black is tough. And this was the key that I learned on this piece, uh, a way to keep from having streaks in my black paint. Here I'm using Miss Lillian's gilding jewels in white gilding wax. And this is the finished piece. My client had picked out those pieces of hardware and I think they matched it perfectly in the end. Uh, I was really happy with how this turned out. It's just a gorgeous piece and it was really fun to work with Theo on this. If you like what you see, please comment below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate any support I receive. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions. I will try to remember to put all of the products that I used in the description below. And uh, yeah, this was really great. I really, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks.